Shrimp are totally dependent on us for the environment they live in. In the wild, shrimp typically live in rivers or streams where the water is flowing and constantly being refreshed. In our aquariums, no water enters or leaves the tank unless we physically change it. Partial water changes are an essential part of keeping shrimp healthy. And in this video, I will share with you my tips for carrying out water changes in a shrimp tank. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Richard and I'm a fish and shrimp keeper based in the UK. Good quality, stable water is an essential part of maintaining a healthy shrimp tank. When the water quality is stable, shrimp grow faster, show brighter colours and breed more prolifically. In my experience, stable water parameters are better for shrimp than perfect water parameters. Water changes are the best way to keep the shrimp's environment clean, fresh and pleasant to live in. So why do we need to carry out water changes? When shrimp and fish go to the bathroom, their waste is high in ammonia, and ammonia is toxic to aquarium inhabitants. Fortunately, there are bacteria that live in our aquariums, and more specifically our aquarium filters, that convert the ammonia first to nitrite, which is less toxic, then to nitrate. Nitrate is also toxic, but typically only in high concentrations. No matter how good our filters are, they will not remove the nitrates from the water. The only practical way we can lower the nitrates to a truly safe level is through partial water changes. As the name very much suggests, a partial water change means literally removing some, but not all of the water from the aquarium and replacing it with fresh tap water. One of the most hotly debated topics on the internet is how much water you should change and how frequently you should change it. The truth is, there is no one answer that suits every aquarium. Personally, I choose to change about 10% of the water in my shrimp tanks about once a week. I don't bother to measure exactly 10% and I don't worry if I go 8 days without changing it rather than 7. But I do try to make sure each of my shrimp tanks gets a water change of about 10% about once a week. Now we know why we should carry out frequent partial water changes in our shrimp tanks, let's discuss how best to carry out those changes. When I do a water change on my fish tanks, I just hook up a hose, drain out the water, then refill. However, if I use this technique in my shrimp tanks, no end of shrimp would get sucked up the hose and end up down the plug hole. Instead, I use a hose with a sponge over one end. The sponge allows ample water to pass through, yet prevents the shrimp from being sucked up. Once sufficient water has drained out of my shrimp tanks, I start the process of refilling each one. Here is where the tricky bit starts. It is important that we don't shock our shrimp by adding back water which is vastly different from the tank water. In my experience, water temperature is the most important thing to get right. As I do not heat any of my shrimp tanks, I find they all tend to be more or less the same temperature. The water temperature is essentially the same as the ambient temperature in the room. Before filling the tanks back up, I'll pop a digital thermometer into one of the shrimp tanks, then try to set the temperature of the fresh water to be about the same. It doesn't have to be exact, within a couple of degrees is usually fine. I like to pour the water back into the tanks carefully, so as not to disturb the shrimp or the substrate too much. If I dump half a gallon of water straight into the tank, it typically stirs up any detritus in the substrate and makes the tank look a mess for a couple of days. Instead, I will siphon the water from a bucket into each aquarium using a small length of aquarium airline hose. This technique has served me well for several years now. If you are using tap water to refill your aquarium as opposed to well water, Make sure you use a dechlorinator, such as Seachem Prime. Dechlorinators will not only break down the chlorine or chloramine in your tap water, but they also detoxify any ammonia, nitrite or nitrates that are in your tap water, making sure the water you're adding back to your tank is safe for the shrimp. If any algae has started to build up on the front glass of the aquariums, I'll usually scrape it off before carrying out the partial water change. Any large pieces of algae or general detritus that have begun to build up in the aquarium can be easily sucked up the tube, or in larger aquariums, a dedicated gravel vat can be used. One top tip I can share with you here is you can take the old water siphoned from your shrimp tanks and use it to water your houseplants. The old water is often high in nitrates, which your houseplants will typically love. Water changes are an essential part of maintaining any freshwater aquarium, and in my experience at least, carrying out frequent partial water changes will lead to larger, healthier shrimp colonies. Another thing that I have found which directly impacts shrimp colony size is using live plants. 
and I have a video guide to the best live plants for shrimp linked on screen. Thanks for watching.